Just one of several hidden gems that can be found right here in our own backyard and it's helping small business grow. Oh, it's a good thing. What's happening on the campus of Case Western Reserve University right now is just one of a few experiences that were pitched to land Amazon's coveted second headquarters. News finds Mike Brookbank takes us inside the Think Box. <sighs> 3D and laser printers. It's just some of the high tech equipment tucked into this nondescript building on the campus of Case Western. It is here in this facility where dreams come to life. Alexander Lonsbury's Path Robotics, just one of the dozens of startups to turn to the Think Box. I don't think most cities have this type of facility. We're kind of, it's kind of a rarity and it's very special to have it. Lonsbury's new company, focusing on building a robot that can weld on its own. There are really any robots out there that are used currently are not very smart. That's because someone has to tell the machine what to do. What we're doing is adding a bit of artificial intelligence to the system. Lonsbury and his team using this facility to build two prototypes. So the user interaction will become basically putting something in front of the robot and then walking away. As simple as that. So far, Thinkbox has helped more than 100 startups get off the ground. Like the greatest garage in the world, you know, millions of dollars worth of tools. That's fun. The state recently threw its support behind the makerspace, cutting a $1 million check. They saw the economic impact a space like this has, you know, outside of just, you know, Case Western. It's much bigger than that. Access to the incubator space and machines completely free and available for Case Western students as well as the general public. Every time someone comes in here, like, what's the catch? There is no catch. We don't take, like, any part of your idea. You know, we don't come back and say, hey, you owe us, like, a bunch of money because we helped you. It's the kind of collaboration and innovation that some hope will catch the attention of Amazon. We have a special group of people here in Cleveland, and we don't want to sit, sit around. We want to do something. The Think Box receives more than 5,000 visitors each month, making it the third most popular place on campus behind the Athletic Center and Library. Reporting from Case Western Reserve University tonight, Mike Brookbank, News 5.